Good day, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Mom, mom and Son, Son Podcast. Podcast. This is Rose Res Fausto, the mom, also known as FQ Mom, and Anton Fausto, the son. So it is already December 17, and 16. Ay, 17, sorry, 17, sorry. yeah. There are eight days, but then for me, in my in my book, I say this one week na lang, kasi December ah, 24 yes. talaga yung Christmas That's ko what... and. My my I I really just I've said this already in our past episodes. I really love the whole Christmas vibe. It's your favorite season of the it's year. It's my favorite season it's of the my, year. Huh? It's the most, most wonderful, wonderful time, time of, of the year. year. And uh, it's the most wonderful time of the year, but it's also the most magastos time because yes. people are really going out to buy gifts and really show their appreciation, and their love for those close to them and those who mean uh, a lot to them. But of course, in the inline of of FQ, we want to just remind <laughs> everyone that you that that expensive gifts aren't the only way to show your love and care for someone, especially if you, you don't yeah if you don't have the budget, you can find your own uh, creative way to to do so. Yes, DIY if you may, right? Yeah, as long as you still show that that love and appreciation in some other way. Mm-hmm. Okay, so anyway, our episode for today, I interviewed one of my closest friends, Cyril Sindak. Ooh. He is, by profession, he is a digital director. So he's been uh, shooting and editing videos since we were college. For big celebrities na rin, ano? Yeah, okay, so it started out as a, just like how I started hosting. It was like a hobby and then started doing it for friends and yeah. then... From there, he who, he's my teammate, by the way. He was my teammate in CADS. All there. the way in grade school. Yeah, grade pa. school. In your influx. Yeah, in the first dance team ever. And in Indak in high school. So we were, uh, we, we shared the dance journey together. And then now he's... And in, you invite them to watch your, that, that old uh, post that you have in your... What's this? YouTube. But you have this nice dance. Oh, my, my choreography. Yes. That we shot here. Okay, oh, so, so I made, I, yeah, I, I had this a, a couple of years back in college. I made this choreography video, one of my favorite songs, Party by Chris Brown. So I got some of my teammates. That's the title of the to, yeah. video. Party, party by... Uh, party Choreography by Anton Fausto. You just have yes. to YouTube that. Yeah. So it was a bunch of my teammates from CAD. So I made the choreography and then I taught it to them. We practiced it in school a couple of times. Then we shot it here at home in our dance studio and uh, the director and the editor was none other than Mr. Cyril Sindak Cyril. with the help of with some help from Vinny Guterio. Oh, okay. He also, they also worked together. So All yeah, right. that's what he's doing now. So he's even gotten to work with Sagen, the And the husband. Yeah, for their uh, videos and cooking and, and those other type of stuff. But then now, what we'll be talking about, although I want to interview him one other time eh, to talk about his career. But then mm. this one, we're talking about it's a new business venture he's doing with one of my batches also, Javi Ocampo. He's okay. been here in the house then. He's, uh, he's here on my birthday. Um, <laughs> it's called Quadro. So they are um, sort of like a middleman online pa- platform for artists and people who want to uh, get into art, who want to buy their own art pieces. Mm-hmm. Since the traditional way would be through a gallery or oh. um, the the... We'll be talking about this more in the episode, but then what they really want to uh, pursue and push with this business is to make art more accessible and less intimidating. Because mm. people, like even well, me, I, I never really bought art, machado, paintings, you know, I appreciate it. But we do have this notion, it's true, people have this notion that art is for those yung alta social, yung mm. mayayaman ah, talaga. Sosh. Yeah. So what they're trying to do is, it's not, it not listen, there, there is art like that once you see a museum, but there's also great uh, quality local art by Filipinos that not yet should expensive. be yeah the, and 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 should be exposed more. Okay, so let's get to it. All right, I am now inside the home, uh, the condo of the one and only how to say digital director from Industria. He's been making videos since uh, we were college. He, if you remember, he's part of the Cyrus and Duck show, and it's my honor to interview. <laughs> The one and only Cyril Sindak, who is now um, <laughs> cooking up something. Okay, so I just wanna, before we talk about other stuff, pa, I just wanna get into it naka again. Quadro. Quadro. So you just opened it up last month, November. I saw yeah. the Instagram store, I saw awesome, the different awesome. art pieces and stuff. Awesome. What is Quadro? Could you explain Quadro. it to our okay. listeners? Alright, please. So basically, Quadro is like an online art 
selling platform. So uh-huh. it's, it's, it's an online art gallery of sorts, the right? so You'll be able to browse different artworks from different okay. artists, whether paintings or art prints, so digital illustrations or drawings. Parang, it's basically a platform for artists to sell their work and for it basically to reach. This is work, on. not necessarily just digital work, no. Yeah, so yeah, like yeah. If yeah. I have a Physical painting. Uh, you I want can... to sell? Yeah, you can. Okay. Do that. Although originally, when we when when it was conceptualized, it was originally for digital art. Then. Mm-hmm. But as I started reaching out to artists, parang they they were the ones saying that can we put up original works? Oh, okay. Yeah. Wait, how does this? How does that work? How do you sell digital art online? So like, the, can yeah. people screenshot it? Oh yeah. Well, I think that's sort of why it's harder to sell digital art online, just because. The reason I saw one of the reasons people buy art is because they want it because it's unique, right? Yeah. And when when you say it's digital, buying the idea that it could be replicated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Automatically, did that. like it loses its value. Uh huh. So, parang people are still major iffy about that. Uh-huh. Parang for us, you know, it's all high resolution files and like, parang we limit the the prints talaga. Like once, like once, let's say we we limit an edition to fifteen copies only. Like once that once we we've sold the yeah. it's never going to be re- reprinted again like oh, no matter what people okay. and apparently it's our that's the one you show on your site isn't like the high def version oh yeah yeah there's no way for okay. them to do just, just for all the people who don't yeah. so forget the tech oh, yeah, the, yeah. The, the, the tech aspect yeah. of it okay so with Quadro how did it start though? you said that it was something you thought of early by this year mm-hmm. and you have a partner with it right so can you tell us the story of Quadro please all right, so I, I think I think Quadro actually was born out of my newfound love for parang design in general. So, parang I recently you know, got my own place and like, parang the whole process of decorating and parang putting up a space for yourself. Parang for me it was it was honestly yeah. super like parang zero liberating and parang yeah. I learned a lot about myself in and it's like a new yeah. hobby there. Right? Yeah, parang actually because of that and like as I got into decorating, parang it came to a point that I was actually looking for art to decorate the space. So, Okay. And prior to this experience, because I was like, I was afraid of art. Eh. Like, it's really intimidating. Yeah, you think it's only the mga sobrang social <laughs> people. Exactly, yeah. That's how I felt about it. Right. So, for the longest time, I was honestly reluctant to like engage with it. Simply because okay. I felt like I don't know anything about it. Or I don't have the, you know, the art history. The art history. Yeah, so for me, yun pa lang, it's not for me. Then I realized, in the design point of view, in the aesthetic point of view, it's, it's everyone experienced it differently. Yeah. And like, it started with, as I started decorating and I started looking for pieces, I, I soon realized it really wasn't about the whole... Yeah, um, being up there. Yeah, it really like, wasn't. It's a very everybody personal. can appreciate it. Exactly, yeah. And my journey with that, because I started asking my friends for for pieces. As in, I, I would message my so your schoolmates so, so you classes, know people yeah. who already no as in our, our schoolmates parang schoolmates natin parang okay. I had commissioned them for p- original pieces so I paid them to make me you know oh, wait, wait. So, but you already know people who, who paint and oh, I mean like art common stuff. friends okay. like digital people in yeah. our org okay. our, our, our creatives in the org parang a lot of them make naman work talaga so, do you remember who the first person like you got yeah no it was, I from? think it was GM in Karnasha oh uh, okay yeah, yeah. And then, so I asked her to make me this piece that I wanted Santa for my my home. And then oh, she, I, and she, where is it here? Is this one? Yeah, that's on the floor. This is. But it's in a frame. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's frame. Not, it's no, not it's on frame. the floor. No, it's not Cyril has a lot of art on yeah. the floor, by the way. No, but that one, and for that's me, that, I think there, I think yeah. that's the, that's the that's the experience that kind of started it. Like, for me, when when that happened, okay. like, can I get it? Sure, sure. So sure, I can sure. feel your All story right. more. <laughs> no, it's this one. Not... This one, this one, this one. The oh! bigger one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this is nice. Yeah, G- 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 made that. Oh, so, cool. so yeah, it's cool. She made this digital illustration. She sent me the file. I had it printed, had it framed. Okay. And then, and then the whole feeling, it was honestly super exciting Pang, to be able to help a friend out, pay for their work. And Pang, okay. it's not just a gym So thing. did you, did you um, dictate the price of this or did she? She, she, she asked her for her rate for it. Okay. I saw this piece in Salen's house. That one? Like that. And then, it, it, for me, it looked super cool. Cyril like, works I, with Salen by no, the way. No, no, I was just wondering like, but then, Where did she get that? Yeah, I always thought it was like Wait, a broad. Is that the one No, it's, it's different. Yeah, then oh, it was funny because I showed Gian this, the, the, the painting. Oh, but you, you wanted this vibe. This is the vibe, this is the peg. Do, do your okay. own thing. But then. And then I, later, I found that he's Filipino. Pa lang. And I reached out to him. Oh. I ended up owning the an original piece from him. That's an original, original piece, piece of the same guy who I made the peg, who I used as a peg for from inside yeah, house. Yeah. Oh, so it's wow. cool. As in, Art connects people. I don't know. For me, that was it was so thrilling. Na parang 
it's not no one else has this piece uh, and, and yeah. it's not just something you bought off the the hardware store yeah. and well, so this is what I'm holding I'm, this is the only one of these yeah, yeah, yeah. so that, that's how it kind of started and then as I was doing online research parang a lot of platforms online actually sell yeah. ano, original art na digital that you could download you can print or you could buy frame but none of them were parang not a lot of them were local so oh, parang that's kind of how it started okay. parang I even came across this platform that allows you to buy retail. Is it called retail? And you can pay them, and you'll sell their works. Ah, uh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, like a like a reseller. Like a reseller, Ish. yeah. So like, why do I have to resell works of other artists? And there's so many people yeah. in, in oh, around wow. here who, who who have work and who want to. And want this to could, sell. this is connected then to you because because you do because you're an artist. Right? I mean, like with your. Um, experience and time in the creative field yeah, of yeah, yeah, for sure. directing and editing videos yeah, yeah. Parang creative side brand so parang I know what it what it's like to need a platform to sell okay. and show your work so but, where does ano naman? so you have a partner have your Where where did this where did he come in when it came I to this this, is, this whole <laughs> oh well I have because he's, he's, he's also inclined to art and parang him naman, okay. he's more on the tech side so he understands like the so the UX side of it so parang UX he, parang user experience side of oh it. okay okay so my website stuff and ah just, he can he design yeah yeah yeah, yeah. oh so I didn't designer. know that yeah it's I know that he, so he, he, he can run he can he's run. like a triathlete yeah, 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 yeah. something like that okay okay yeah. so yeah so parang he I first pitched him the idea a long time ago and then you know he he he, he told me like he he wanted to do it as like uh but he wanted we wanted to team up then. Because he sees how also how he could sort of make this evolve later on in the future. So. Yeah, yeah. So you guys are the first in the Philippines. No, I mean technically not. Like it's te- honestly, it's like not a new concept in the money. But I'm, yeah. people have tried to sell art and art prints online, mm-hmm. but then I think it just hasn't taken off. So this is our our own take. You mentioned a while ago na you para had your own experience with art and how you could you don't need to like have a long background with art. You don't yeah. need to paint yourself sure, or do yourself sure. to be able to appreciate it but then for you like, how do you tell how can you tell if an art if art is good like, is it something you feel lang, or yeah I mean uh, when you say subject what's subject the subjective is subjective is there's no parang rule <laughs> yeah no it, that's it, a subject honestly yeah, it, it's, it's super it's really subjective and something I think it's something that kind of evolves with you and parang uh-huh. on, like on a personal level like, I saw how my how my choices sort of evolved as, as I got more and more parang I guess comfortable with mm-hmm. with experiencing and, and looking at art so parang it, it's really subjective and it's a, it's a personal journey and parang I, honestly that's actually also the people who I'm targeting with, with Quadra parang, parang the people who were like me before okay. like, before Quadra that's a good, that's a good I mean you're, you're afraid to, I know you're afraid yeah. to, to I'm, engage with it you're so you're so intimidated kind of, it is intimidating it's, it's intimidating so when we look at art we think of like big museums yeah the and, and you mga like big time big money. auctions yeah, and it's, it's scary you know. but, and yeah like you realize it's not even about the money like uh, you can get good quality art at different price points yeah. but, I mean, but it's always hard because who's to tell what's good quality and then, yeah and that's, that's on you that's but on then you know, for, like, for me at least my personal experience like when I look at like, the art I've experienced in life it's only either yung super kiddie drawings like stuff I would do in grade school do those or like museums I've gotten to go to with like yeah. The professional, sure. world known stuff. Sure. So this one, Quadro, is more of catering to that middle yeah, market. Yeah, for sure. You're not, like, art isn't your life. Like, it's not your source of, I mean, for the people who are, who are I know, um, your customers here, they're not the ones who are the ones who really attend art galleries and, like, really um, get to know the painted stuff. But at the same time, they want to know about yeah. art and they want to, like, have that as a part because I mean here pa lang at least and in other rooms or condos I've been in if there's art like any space it can really parang it put really life, does it really it does add life, life. and parang, parang I feel like a lot of people are missing out on, on, on that just because they're afraid and there's really no no reason to be afraid and like it honestly helps both parties because like in my personal experience when I started reaching out to artists tell them about the platform or tell them for a, a, a piece of work or a commission uh-huh. and they honestly get really excited that share their art and parang the fact that they have a platform cool. they get excited about it and parang that's such a cool feeling then so parang, the artists you target are also the new mga yeah, up and coming yeah actually exactly yeah as in we that's sort of like our advocacy din siguro na parang we, we, we focus on artists who, who wouldn't kind of those who have never really exhibited before those who yeah. are not super up where do you find 
like it's or is it it's referrals? obviously online and referrals so like syempre when online every, everyone posts work online and parang yeah. you see a PC like you see you know he's not really promoting or he's not really I don't mean so parang it's on, or we started online but then it's sort of grown from there okay. referrals do you know how many do you have like a do you have like a database so like how many artists artists right now right now are in, col- are in collaboration with Quad I think we're at mga 10 na okay. I mean, I mean, there are a bunch of artists then parang who have Passion expressed interest. yeah interest okay. so parang they're working on pieces now right? oh, and parang because we do prints also we're actually also putting up like photographers then photographers oh, to okay. um, so fine art photography prints it started with illustrations illustrations, illustrations, and illustrations and paintings and it's grown to paintings drawing, and now we have photography oh, so parang where, where do you see this going in like let's say three years three years like do you have like a goal of definitely it? like I, seen, I obviously want to grow the platform more I mean Again, like our our mission talaga is to really be a platform for local artists. Right like, now, you're an Instagram. There's an Instagram account. Instagram account plus website. There's a yeah. website. Yeah. What's the website? It's quadroartgallery.com. dot <laughs> com. Quadroart Gallery with Felix. No. Quadroart Gallery. Yeah, I mean, it, it sounds. I said you guys bought the domain, na. Yeah, no. It's, Ooh, that's honestly, legit. we were trying to go for Quadro, but then it's a lie. I mean, what does Quadro mean? Well, I just the Quadro is just four. frame. Quadro. Quadro. Like frame in. Quadro is frame. frame. It, it's C U A D R O. I mean, is it Spanish? So, Spanish. Yeah. Nah. You Spanish. sure? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, you can Google so it. That's right. I mean, that's the name. Well, it's simple. Did you come up with the name? Yeah. yeah. How did you come up with the name? <laughs> well, <laughs> well, it's like originally prints. As in, prints you could. Our oh. original family was just art prints that you could buy in a frame. But the quadro so sounds. Kind of, I would say, more me, quadro sounds cooler something. than print. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, actually. Okay. So you want do you do you I uh, know aspire something that it's gonna be an app? I honestly no. wish that one day it become a physical space. It would be cool to have a physical Ooh. space where you can host exhibits or like you can host artists. You can host. But it's not artists. necessary an artist's space. Yeah, no, it's a water space, and then people and that's really focus on that on art. Yeah. Wow. Definitely. Now can we talk about the con- the customer experience? Let's say I'm a customer and then I want to check this out. I want to know how it works and like if there's any art there that, that fancies my taste okay. so I check out the site or I check out the store and then you have the collection there right yeah is it possible because like what you said nga, your first art from Gian nga, um, you asked her to commission you art and sort of the vibe like this is it possible for customers to have that experience or that opportunity also oh, yeah. they, they like the certain sure. style of this one artist yeah. but they want to have let's say Something that's related to them, like yeah, yeah, yeah. I want it to be about someone playing basketball, for example, or for someone sure. hosting something. No, like that would that. actually be a really cool opportunity because in that case, we kind of serve our purpose. Then I mean, yeah. our our goal then is to get people connected to these artists, yeah. and if they discover these artists through us, then for us that's a win. Even if they reach out to the artist directly, whether they won't even go to us and to ask for a commission. But obviously, okay, oh, I mean that's. But of course, it's easier. <laughs> they go through you. <laughs> go through. No, no, very, very, and then. For me, that, that's a win for us and a win for the artist. So I'd actually want that to happen. For them to see a work they like and understand, yo, this artist's style is something I vibe with and I want a piece from them. Then if they reach out to the artist, hey, can you make me a piece? Then, yo, then yeah. we, are, we did our job. That's like the mission vision. That's, right what our, that's where our commission comes from. That's where our percentage comes from. I think that's where, uh-huh. yeah. So I guess. But of course, this is something also that, that that's profitable. Yeah, I mean, for this you and Abby, no. obviously starting out, it's not the main goal. Really. Yeah. So, you know, always, as long as we're keeping the lights on, <laughs> you don't you don't need to keep profit side of it as your main. You know? Obviously, yeah, it's you not, need to keep the lights on, but then like yeah, for but me, then it, it, must, it shouldn't be the only yeah, uh, yeah. motivation for. Yeah, it. I say, honestly, like anyone can start anything online nowadays, but and yeah. it's so easy to drop it. As in, you start yeah. this thing, you're you're gaining followers now, and then you lose the drive to continue. Yeah. I think that's the more dangerous part. It's so easy to do. So but easy. since this one comes from a real a place. Me, yeah, more real place. I think there's a, an extra wave of, I know, I think it's drive then. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you, you know you're taking care of it. You want to. You know, when you want to. So that's my, that's the second wave lang of, I mean, yung push. The yeah, push yeah I get it. I get it. On like, on to, to, I motivate you to not give up. Mm, it's right. not rooted in your own desires. I mean, you're, you, you yeah. desire for these guys to that's, I guess that's the, uh, that's like the main purpose of setting up a platform yeah it's it you just shepherd the money the money part is probably like a realistic thing that mm-hmm. of course, I, yeah. I, the, the goal is really but like that, that can't yeah. be the 
entire like, like heart and right, backbone right. of that thing. Oh, okay. Because yeah. we wanted to be self sustaining. We don't want to lose money, naman. Yeah, right? yeah. Obviously, yeah. you have to put money to put this thing up. Pero it's not a charity. Try to make it, naman. Parang self sustaining in a sense. Now we're earning, pero because we're earning, it will allow us to get more people and, and more, even get bigger, get more opportunities for these guys. Yeah. Have that that message of yours reaching. Yeah, more yeah. Hopefully, yeah. Yeah. as we end this episode, let's see. There's anybody out there who wants to. You know, get involved with this. Whether they are a, whether they're a customer who wants to, um, purchase art or commission art, or if they're an artist that wants to, you know, have that platform for other people to see their art. How can they do so? Okay, so if you are, if you are someone who who's looking for art to liven up your space or add color to, you know, your. Yeah, your your yeah your your, 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 space, your, yeah. your working place, yeah. or your artist, bedroom, your artist looking your to, CR anything to get more get more eyes on on your work and uh-huh. you know hopefully reach out to a bigger audience. You could head over to at quadro dot art on Instagram. Okay, and so again, that's at quadro dot art. C u a d r o. and then our our website is quadroartgallery dot com. Quadro yeah. Art Gallery and they can just reach you there right? yeah no for sure I mean all our works are there I mean I don't know when this is going up but then you know we have another collection coming this December then oh okay. yeah, so yeah it's coming a new collection new works oh yeah and Sakla that's like a good a perfect Christmas gift it's yeah. a different it's a different Christmas gift yeah. and, 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 and me what for at least for me what uh, makes it m- the most interesting about part about it for me was the the opportunity that you can have someone um do an art piece for you because that that's usually something that when you're much older now nah, yeah. and much more successful yeah. you know have more you don't money. need to wait you that's don't need to wait a, for yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, so many, have, there's so many good artists good art yeah. at different the local price path. points and local so it's it's honestly really exciting yeah alright so thanks again Sai very awesome, much for your time okay. and <laughs> best of luck in awesome. this quadro ventures awesome. of yours quadro and ventures. I too Okay, so that was my interview with Cyril Sindak. Thank you very much again, Cyril. Not just for your time and your and sharing your story, but that just like I said, we we recorded that in his condo, his uh, solo living, which he purchased himself. Yeah, which he purchased right? himself, wow. which he put art and everything in, and it and it's a nice. Um, Ang galing niya, ha? He, yeah. he's he's not even two years out of college, mm-hmm. and he already bought his own place. Yeah, I have a lot. We have a lot. I have a lot of fashions like those. Um, way back we had the Albero episode with Grandstand and Isabel Oh yeah. Uh, and these are people who have. Cyril has a full time job. It's mm-hmm. not like he's. You know, this isn't his only thing. He has a full time job which he can which he devotes a lot of time to. Yet he still has the. That side gig. Yeah, that side gig, Cyril. Yeah, <laughs> you guys are very into side gig now, no? So that's probably your way of having more than one income stream yeah. which is good and it's nice that we discuss about art kasi nga we really want to dispel that notion na gutob ang aabutin sa art yeah yeah diba? na parang ah art art ka lang pano sabi nga it's not sa, just a hobby diba the, I think I already mentioned this book before the, um, the book by Jeff Goins entitled Real Artists Don't, Don't Starve, starve. Okay. I have not read that yet, honestly. I, you I have to read that. You have to read <laughs> yeah. that. It talks about the way the... you um, treat your profession, your craft, and mm-hmm. the way you price yourself. And mm-hmm. it gives you a really nice background all the way back in uh, Michelangelo. <laughs> and that's something that uh, as we're coming to the uh, close of this year and having almost finished one year of podcasting here oh, in the yeah. Mom & Podcast, it's something that we hope has inspired lots of people and um i don't know g- g- gave people that that perspective of different artists we've had a lot then on our on mm-hmm. our podcast that talked about their struggles their journeys to reach where they are that aren't in the traditional jobs mm-hmm. i should find a new term now for it because it starts with us with looking at it and treating it as a legitimate profession and not something that oh wow iba to. no it oh. is it is work it is it's changing, but it's still, you know, we still have to have the same values and same principles to survive in it. Oh, and I just realized, Antona, if you take a look at the calendar, we've been doing the podcast for almost a year now. And mm-hmm. in fact, the two remaining episodes for the year 2019 are very, very important dates. Oh, That's yeah. going to be December 24 yes. and December 30, 31. Wow. So okay. it's Christmas Eve and New Year's Eve. Yeah, oh, so man. again, I'd like to thank everybody who's been... 
uh, who've been supporting us and uh, listening and giving their comments and yes. we'd like to invite more people to listen to it if you if you liked it or if there's something you want to ask yes. yes don't hesitate we don't yeah. bite and share if you find any of the episodes helpful to any of your friends family loved ones okay all right so once again this has been another episode of the mom, mom and, and son, son podcast. podcast this has been rose fres fausto the mom also known as fq mom and Anton Fausterson. Uh, wishing you guys a happy few days left till Christmas. Yep. If you can, Mag stay off Edsa. <laughs> <laughs> stay off stay of Edsa. Stay off Edsa, please. <laughs> Joke lang. Yeah. Take care, guys. Bye. Bye. The Mom and Son Podcast airs every Tuesday, 7 a.m. and can be streamed on Spotify, Apple iTunes, Google Podcasts, Buzzsprout.com, and YouTube. Just search Mom and Son Podcast for your weekly dose of family, finance, passions, and everything in between. Leave a comment so other listeners may find this podcast. If you have any questions or suggested topics, email us at antonfausto at gmail.com.